Okay. We're back on the air. Someone called to see some rentals. She's unfortunately going to have to wait because that ain't going to happen too soon because I'm busy helping you guys. Okay, so we're going to do one more tour starting from the outside of the unit. So you're going to have a chance to see the entire place. Let's go ahead and take a look at the view first so you can see what it's all about. It's all about this panoramic view. Panoramic view of downtown Los Angeles. And then I'm going to show you today, I'm going to help you win $25. Whoever has the best question of the day is going to win the $25 Amazon gift certificate. I'm going to help everybody make a billion dollars in real estate. This has to be expensive. I would say it is expensive and it's also very cheap. So it's 1.48 and two run. And then we got the uh, half bath. This is also the only unit in this building, not the only unit, but this unit has a uh, washer and dryer inside the unit. And the building also has a washer and dryer on every floor as well. <clears throat> Start outside the door. I'm gonna go faster this time, so we're gonna do real fast. That has a laundry as well. <clears throat> You know, 2305. It's 2,440 square feet. This is the lowest price per square foot. So this is how why it's cheap. It's the lowest price per square foot in downtown for a high-rise luxury condo with a view. All right, you got three ways that you could go. I like to go through the kitchen because the first thing you see is a sub-zero refrigerator. I love refrigerators because I'm always opening them and pulling food out or trying to find food in there that sounds appetizing. <clears throat> professional stove and professional two uh, double oven here. And you got a view uh, from the kitchen of the Bonaventure Hotel. It's a famous Bonaventure Hotel. You've seen that in movies, especially in the 80s. Uh, in the 80s movies, that sh anything that showed downtown would show the Bonaventure Hotel because it was new back then. Then you get this uh, panoramic view. Concrete floor, polished concrete, and high raised ceiling. This is the only unit in the building that has these lofty features. That's why this is called the Bunker Hill Loft. BunkerHillLoft.com. It has its own uh, web address, its own domain, this unit. BunkerHillLoft.com. Because the others really are, I call them you know, apartment-style condos. This one I would call a, a lofty condo or loft style condo because of the concrete floors and raised ceiling that the other units do not have. Let's go straight into the master bedroom for those of you who haven't seen it yet. This is where the main thing about this unit, besides the fact that it has many of the 85 recessed ceiling lights that this unit has, the master bedroom has the Disney Center, Disney Concert Hall right outside the window. And I think that's priceless to have the Disney Concert Hall right outside your bedroom window, along with the LA City Hall, the iconic landmark LA City Hall. And the Music Center is right next door, along with the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion, Mark Taper Forum, Amundsen Theater, to get all your, your concerts, your uh, concerts, the classical orchestra concerts, stage plays, they're all right here, right outside the window, so you can walk down get up in the morning knowing that maybe that night you're gonna go see Pavarotti or the LA Philharmonic or whatever major world-class performance that you'd like to see. Then you can get into your soaking tub and enjoy soaking in your soaking tub if you're not in a hurry. If you're in a hurry you just walk into your separate shower here and enjoy your luxury shower. You and your spouse or your friend can both use these double vanities and there's plenty of room in the walk-in closet for all of your clothes here. There are two more 
this one does not have a separated toilet, so there are two more bathrooms in case you don't want to use the toilet while your friend or partner is in the same bathroom. So this is a lofty style. It's an open, semi-open kind of loft style. So it has pocket doors, so you still get plenty of openness and plenty of privacy in the bedroom and kitchen and in the bedrooms. Let's tell you what else is here in these views. Before I go any further, I want to tell you the five most common mistakes that people make when they're buying real estate. As I talked about earlier, I lived in a shack, you know, for some time. We were on welfare living in a shack when I was a kid. And um, while I don't have a billion dollars yet, uh, I am, that is in the plans. That's in the goals and in the plans. And I think everybody should have a goal and a plan in America, in the United States, depending on where you live, you should, your plan for retirement, some people will tell you 300,000 or 400,000 or maybe 3 million or 4 million, but the real, the real number is 20 million if you live in an expensive area and 10 million, um, maybe you can get by with three, four, five million if, if you're gonna retire in a, in a really cheap place or in a different country. The reason being that to be independently wealthy, where you're really independent and really wealthy, and you can stay that way for the rest of your life. That's why you need the $20 million. But why limit yourself to $20 million when a billion dollars is the new million? So if you go to the LA Loft blog, LA Loft blog, type in billion and you'll see articles, links on how to make a billion dollars. That's laloftblog.com. Loft, as in lofty goals and lofty dreams. laloftblog.com. That's where you can type in the search box, billion, and find that article. Um, it'll get you started and have more links on how to make it the billion dollars. Real estate is the number one investment that the average person makes in their life. The largest and best investment that the average person makes in their life is real estate. So that's how important real estate is. That's why I'm doing real estate because it's one of the most important things you can do. That's the new metro station that's under construction. It takes you straight to the arts district. So we're not in the arts district here, but we're almost in the arts district. It's almost the same because this is the loftiest place in the otherwise quiet, reserved, and stodgy, and even boring Bunker Hill because it's clean and quiet here compared to the rest of downtown. But you're going to be able to hop on this metro station in just about maybe less than a year from now and zoom over to the Arts District. The Arts District is perhaps the funnest, most exciting, new, creative spot on earth with artists. It's full of street art. That's the Arts District. Let's, this has more storage, storage than any other place that I've ever seen in six years of downtown real estate. More closet space. There's also three storage units in the, in the garage as well. 2,440 square feet. So price is 1,548,000. This is the secondary master bedroom. This one's slightly smaller. It still has a walk-in closet and it has its own shower. So here you won't keep being socialist or running our system will keep you and I believe in free enterprise. I can see what he's trying to talk about, socialism versus free enterprise, but I don't understand if he is for socialism or for free enterprise uh, and making money in uh, real estate. In real estate. Uh, most real estate agents are, ob are obviously for free enterprise. Probably the ones that make the most money are for free enterprise. The people that make the most money are for free enterprise. And the po obviously the people who are for free enterprise make the most money. Yes, there's more to things in life than money. But money is also just directly correlated, translated into resources, uh, including food, clothing, and shelter. And uh, so the more money you could have, the, the more health care you're going to be able to get, the more if you get arrested, someone accuses you, falsely accuses you of something, 
the more money you have, the more legal defense you're going to get. So it's it's that's why everyone needs to make twenty million dollars because you just even if you want the government to take care of you or you want um, a spouse or a parent or someone else to take care of you, you still want to be able to take care of yourself as well. That's why you gotta be able to make that much money. What's this about? This is about the Bunker Hill Loft open house in downtown Los Angeles. That's what we're walking through. It's 2,440 square feet. Sub Zero refrigerator and pro, pro pro appliances, but it's mostly about this panoramic view. Yes, not only does it have a pool, it has the largest pool in downtown Los Angeles, resort style swimming pool. It's enormous. With an, it also has an enormous hot tub spa. It also has its own park, which is hard to find in downtown, with barbecues picnic tables and you can see people playing tennis it's got two tennis courts it's at, they're asking one million five hundred forty eight thousand dollars that is actually the lowest price per square foot this is for sale it's the lowest price per square foot in downtown Los Angeles for a high-rise condo unit with a view people in West LA are paying Three million, five million, ten, twenty million dollars now for something with a view. Here you get it. Not only do you get the view, because you're right here. What was the building built? It was built in 1968. Out of my budget. It's out of more budgets. That's why I'm going to tell you how to make a billion dollars in real estate. Famous people live. Some famous people live in this building, however, there's more famous people living probably now in the Ritz-Carlton, but most, most famous people still live in West LA, Beverly Hills, Malibu, um, those areas. But they're moving to downtown Los Angeles because downtown is more exciting. This is where the, all, all the action is. That's a brand new metro station under construction right now. It takes you straight to the Arts District, the youngest, hippest, most creative spot in the world. Is where that goes. Hillary and Bernie followers want to give away. Not fair. Someone should have. Where does Forzy Tube live? Well, <laughs> not sure I understand those questions. Bernie, uh, from what I hear, is pretty socialist. Mr. Trump is pretty wacko capitalist. Neither one of them, I would not vote for either one. I would not vote for Bernie. I would not vote for Donald. I would not vote for Hillary. Reason is none of them are suitable. So Donald Trump, really? Gary Johnson, yes. <laughs> I would vote for Gary Johnson uh, because most Americans are libertarians, but they don't realize it. Eventually, the eventually Americans will realize realize that they are libertarians. They are for freedom, individual freedom and not um, giving more and more control to the government. This has two bedrooms. They're both master bedrooms. We're gonna show them again real quick. Let's show the main master bedroom first. Social liberties, right. So being able to live your life the way you want your life to be. You don't need to be necessarily telling other people what to do with their lives. What you want to do is be able to wake up in the morning in your master bedroom and look out of the view to the Disney cent Disney Concert Hall and the Center Music Center and the beautiful L.A. City Hall, iconic landmark, 1930s, roaring 20s. Uh, what's the average county city property tax? Oh, it's going to be a lot because it's going to be 1.25% per year, which is roughly... 13000 a year for property taxes for this. It's $1,548,000. So yeah, lots of property taxes. So Bernie should be happy if you live here. If you live here, you can be happy whether you're a communist or socialist or libertarian because you're going to get all the benefits of, of, all, of all those. You're going to wake up in the morning and you're going to be soaking in your tub how many bedrooms? Two, two master bedrooms. Soak in your tub. You're not going to care if 
the world is turning socialist or capitalist or libertarian because you're going to enjoy your peace and quiet for the moment. You're not going to care about communists while you're bathing in your reptile. Yes, 1.5 million. It's 1,548,000. Or if you want to get to work because you're a capitalist, you need to jump in your shower, get to work, be productive. Uh, if you're a Donald Trump style capitalist, you want to get to work and steal as much money from other people as possible. <laughs> I'm. Uh, what, dude? Why are you mixing politics and business? Oh, people brought those up. And I'm actually just mixing in a little bit of humor. Because uh, people bringing it up is correct, yes. Austin, Texas, Orange County residents. I didn't see that whole question. Uh, I know politics infuriates some people, but mm, it doesn't need to necessarily. In fact, as I just heard on Howard Stern this morning, uh, certain people calling other people different types of names, racial names, and so forth. There's many of those people who say it does not apply to them. So someone may call me a name, even if I could I could interpret that as applying to me, or I could interpret that as not applying to me. We could all do that. Orange County residents are moving in droves. Orange County, Texas. There's. Several Orange Counties, the Orange County, California, which is not far from here. There's Orange County, Florida. I don't think there's an Orange County, Texas, is there? Texas is too hot. Austin, but cheap. Yeah, Austin, I believe, is about the uh, most creative spot in Texas, from what I do here. Maybe next to Dallas. But I believe I heard Austin is is. Um, you know, has an art, arts community. Right here, we're next. To, we're near the Arts District. They're building that metro station right outside the window. It connects you right over here to the Arts District in downtown Los Angeles. First, before we answer any other questions, I want to, um, that's the Arts District, is past those tall buildings, then past the medium buildings, and then you get to the Arts District. Selling this property, yes, 1.48, 1.548. 1548000 It's for sale. You can see it for sale at BunkerHillLoft.com. That's why I'm here today. Skid Row. Californians are moving here in droves. Oh, yeah. Cal well, Californians are moving out of California. Why? Because the economy is, is, is okay, but more stagnant than anything else. But the taxes keep going up, so people are moving to, wealthy people are moving to other, other states especially. They're moving to Texas, they're moving to Seattle, Washington. They're moving all over the place. California, California tax base is dwindling down. Can you get to heat from the sun reflection off of Disney? Heat, um, well you can see some reflection, but no, you're not going to get a lot of heat. But you are going to get a lot of heat in these windows in the in the summer, but not tons because there's overhang. There's about a th three foot overhang almost. Uh, so this is summer and facing south. Summer facing south is the hottest possible AC. Yeah, it's free AC. It's got hot, relatively high homeowners association dues, so you get free air conditioning and free utilities, free basic cable, free Wi-Fi, free uh, luxury services, concierge, front desk, security, 24-hour security, more amenities than anywhere else practically on earth. Why do Texas run by conservatives yet the best economy? <clears throat> well, if I have to choose between economics, we're going to have, I'm going to have the conservatives run that. If I have to choose between human rights, we're going to have the the uh, liberals or progressive run that so that's why some people are libertarian because they don't want conservatives running everything and they don't want liberals running everything how many garages that's a good question it's got a covered underground parking two parking spaces which also has three storage units People are enjoying the pool. It's summer. Uh, by the way, it's nice and cool in here right now because the air conditioning is running and the overhang blocks some of the sun. 
as you can see only about a, a foot or two feet of sun is shining onto the floor in the middle of the day middle of the afternoon on a average electric bill well that's a good thing because there is no electric bill electricity is all included so you can run your AC it is full blast uh, the homeowners association dues are, are relatively high for this unit and that pays for electricity and everything else how far is the nearest metro station currently it's about two blocks but you see one being built right outside the window and that one is going to go straight to the arts district the most exciting creative place on earth <laughs> you can walk down the street and go to, to a lakers uh, open kitchen more closet space than any other unit that I've ever seen in six years of downtown real estate more storage space including three storage units in the garage let's get back to this uh, oh the billion dollars how to make a billion dollars in real estate that if you go to laloftblog.com search type in the word billion in the little search box it'll tell you how to make a billion dollars five biggest mistakes people make in real estate I don't have them written down so I'm gonna to have to remember them for you because I, I keep telling people I'm gonna tell them the five biggest mistakes and then I forget to tell them so let's go ahead and get those off the top of my head uh, they're gonna be mainly centered in downtown Los Angeles number one real mistake is probably people who don't buy real estate they keep renting forever if you have to live on beans and rice for a while so you could spend a little bit more on um, buying a place is going to pay off in the long run. It's the number one biggest investment people make in their lives. The average person, real estate is the number one investment and the number one biggest investment and the number one best investment that they make in their entire lives. Okay, so number two biggest mistake in real estate is uh, let's. It's different if you're buying or selling. Let's let's talk about buyers first. Number one, buyers will use an out of uh, they either won't use an agent in which case you're going kind of to the fox you're it's like the hen going up to the fox to get help to buy a place you're going straight to the listing agent who already is friends with the owner perhaps and already represents the the owner the seller so you're going up to the seller's agent and asking them to help you when they already have this pre-existing relationship with the seller so you know in my experience that can work just fine and it often does but you are going to the you are the hen walking up to the fox saying you know help me so they're not going to give you extra special attention if you're a home buyer and you're going up to the listing agent you're finding something online finding out who the listing agent is and then going directly to the listing agent to ask them to help you they cannot in california they cannot put your interests above the seller's interests ever that would be illegal if you have your own agent for free which the seller has to pay for they are allowed to put your interest above the seller's interests and they're allowed to pull one over on the seller you know as long as it's legal and ethical they're allowed to put your interest above the seller's interest they're allowed to uh, to not swindle the seller but they are allowed to out negotiate the seller for you that's why you find a good buyer's agent don't just use any your aunt who has does one transaction every other year uh, use a good one because no matter how good they are chances are they're not going to charge you anything the seller is going to pay for them so use the best buyer's agent you can when you're buying a place find one that's local in that area who does a lot of transactions in that area and ask them why they are the best agent in that area it's amazing how few buyers ask me that question why am I a better agent than other agents uh, people who are selling their homes might ask me that question more often so but yeah people make the mistake that of thinking that all agents are alike which is understandable because people don't know exactly and precisely what agents do real estate agents they don't care they just want to buy a place or sell a place anyway number three mistake 
uh, if you're buying in downtown Los Angeles, there's two of the biggest disasters, two most common mistakes that people don't deal with correctly. One is the lofts. This is a, we call it the Bunker Hill loft, but this is a 1968 built condominium. Uh, it's actually a standard, the building is really standard condominiums. This unit is, is only unique because it has these concrete floors and raised ceiling with other units in the building. Probably none of them have both of those. But you can get a loan from pretty much anybody, Joe's Home Loan, Bank of America, Chase, on this property. But if you're buying an industrial conversion, if you're buying that Higgins building, which you probably can't see, but it's in the middle of the screen, that beige brown, medium size, shorter building in the middle. That is a 1910 industrial, actually commercial office building. So when you go to lend on it, when you go to buy a property and borrow money for it, mortgage home financing, they're gonna say, yeah, we'll hook you up, no problem. Of course we can get you a loan on the Higgins Loft. Then you go into escrow, then the escrow calls you and says, well, this is a commercial building. Uh, we're a residential lender. And Joe's Home Loan then has a problem. They wanna charge you more money. They wanna take longer. They want, they're gonna have de delays, weeks and weeks delays. Well, they send questionnaires to the homeowners association and hope that the homeowners association answers the questions and then you may fall out of escrow you might have to pay a per diem to the seller so that's the uh, number th three uh, disaster and you avoid that by using a downtown loft agent who knows the downtown loft lenders and for a loft like that you use a loft lender most likely because the loft lender already knows the building. They don't have to send a questionnaire to the building. They just do it and it gets done. Number four, most biggest disaster in downtown Los Angeles is lawsuits anywhere in California, especially downtown Los Angeles. More than 25% of the listings you see the building is currently or recently involved in a lawsuit, including this building right here. This building just settled a lawsuit just weeks ago. Maybe it's been a month or two. Uh, so you need to, another reason why you need to use a local lender who does a lot of transactions in the neighborhood. In downtown, a downtown specialist like me, we know what the lawsuit was. It involved this building here. It involved that pool. And the lawsuit involved those buildings right there. So if you use an out-of-area agent, you might not even know that there's a, a lawsuit. And if you do know it's harder to know what to, you know what to do about it. Should you buy the place with a lawsuit? Hello, Miami, Florida. Specify what would you like? Please specify what you would like me to specify, and I will specify it. We're at uh, oh, we have a lot of viewers now, so we're going to quickly recap. The reason why we're doing this this is an open house, a live broadcast for this property for sale in downtown Los Angeles. This is the Bunker Hill Loft. And it's, we're going to tell you how to uh, make a billion dollars. We're going to tell you why I did have a lawsuit. Life is hard in Los Angeles. The lawsuit. Well, I don't really want to go into the lawsuit, but basically this building owners sued those building owners uh, because they were sharing this pool. You can kind of see it's all open, the grounds. And these building owners said, no, we don't want you using our pool anymore because you're not helping to pay for the maintenance and we're tired of you using our pool and we're paying for all the maintenance well <clears throat> from my understanding is there's a contract made in 1968 or thereafter and the contract says those people get to use these people's pool and they don't have to pay for maintenance so once you have a contract and the contract is clear you usually have to stick with that contract for as long as you're still doing that same type of business together. How are your nice view? Yes, this is the, not only is this a nice view, this is one of the most valuable views in the world. This is downtown Los Angeles. That's the Bonaventure Hotel. What's your job? I'm the real estate agent. Ooh, we're getting some beautiful Russian Cyrillic words. Those are very lovely. Same two buildings. Those two buildings are pretty much the same, and they 
they're even the same style as this building, although they're, they're shorter. Those, those were sold separately, I think, and rented out. This one is condo. Hello, hello. This is a pool. Best question of the day. Uh, hello, Chicago. Best question of the day wins $25 Amazon gift certificate. So ask your real estate questions. Ask your downtown LA questions. Wouldn't uh, ownership null the contract? No, it's the same ownership since the contract was done and generally with a business deal that is anticipated to continue. Average condo and high rise one in Los Angeles. This one's $1,548,000. Dollars average in downtown now is about hello, Mr. Turkey, and nine hundred nine hundred thousand dollars, eight hundred thousand dollars. Now, the arts district average condo is nine hundred thousand, downtown Los Angeles average condo is eight hundred thousand dollars. Vertical stripe building doesn't look very good. Vertical, well, a lot of buildings don't look very good in Los Angeles, <laughs> so it's not too surprising. I'm trying to get, oh, hello, Mr. Russian. What's the level of traffic noise? Here, this is a 1968 building. These are not dual pane windows. So you can hear ambulances, but we're on the 23rd floor. So the, the ambulance noise, the noise is not gonna be right in your ears. It's more quiet than anything else because we're on the 23rd floor, even though these are only single pane windows. Hello from Russia. Hello, Russia. Dobry dien. Spakonya noche. All right, that's a beautiful Trump building, Golden 674 skyscraper, star building, 2017 all over news. Yeah, so you can see the tallest building in the West. How's the soundproofing on those walls? Soundproofing on the walls is pretty good. Recommendations? No, Mr. Russian. No recommendations for Mr. Russian at the moment. All right, so I think we finished our first hour. Oh, I'm gonna repeat to you because I really want to help you make that billion dollars. So go to the LA Loft blog, LA Loft, LA Loft blog.com. Turkey, hello, Mr. Turkey. LA Loft blog.com and type in the search billion, the word billion. Turkey, very, very hot, 95 degrees. Yes, it's hot here, but it's actually pretty nice today and not too hot. Bathtub big, yes, need one that could hold four people. Graduating high school, what do you recommend? I'm not sure what type of recommendation you're looking for when you're graduating from high school. If you have a lot of self-discipline, get into real estate. That's what I'd recommend. But as far as which high school you should go to, there's a performing arts high school right here, right next to the giant uh, Catholic cathedral here. There's a performance high school, performance of the arts. Are there any residential buildings in the same elevation nearby? I believe so. Where are them LA girls? You're seeing them right there in the pool right there in swimsuits and laying out in the sun right outside the window. Studio room. <clears throat> Yahi, yes. I uh, just showed a video the other day of some really beautiful ladies in bikinis and guys next to the pool on the 1100 building, which is now the Chase building downtown Los Angeles. Computer dem psycho fakey. Speak Russian, please. Ah, Bajalsta. Dobry dien. Comrade. Vodka. That's as much Russian as I know. Sorry. Uh, how to make a billion dollars. I want to get back to that. I to just told you how to make a billion, but I want you to make at least 20 million so you can be. Uh, live in luxury. Real estate is the number one way to make your 20 million, so please do buy your real estate, even if you have to, you know, spend extra money to get started. What else can we say? This is the Bunker Hill Loft. This is where everybody should live, and if you want to view, this is it. How much is this loft? 1,548,000. This is the amazing uh, Spasibo. You too. Thank you, Mr. Russian and Tur Turkish. All right, this is a panoramic view. Here I'm in a pan for your panoramic view. That is the uh, polished concrete floor in here. That's the new metro going to the amazing Arts District. If you haven't seen what's happening in Arts District, just take a look at the Arts District on Google and YouTube. And Does it come in pink? Does this unit come in pink? I don't think so, unless you paint it pink. Thanks. All right.
Uh, how many viewers? We've got 30 viewers. Trying to understand U.S. locality terms. How would you describe your location with terms like, this is downtown Los Angeles, Los Angeles, Hollywood. This is the entertainment capital of the world. And this address is 800 West 1st Street in downtown Los Angeles. Community school districts I don't know too much about. There's not that many kids around here. How much does it cost to maintain this flat? This would be called a condo unit. And so if we have a house paid off, it would be smart to use as collateral to get another house. Yes, buy a house, pay off, pay off some of it. Uh, when the prices are low enough or when you find a good deal, then you use that money to buy another house, second house. Beautiful. How close are we to the entertainment establishments? Very, very close. Right across the street, you have <clears throat> world-class entertainment right outside the window. You got the Disney Concert Hall right there. Disney Concert Hall, LA Philharmonic Orchestra. You got the uh, Music Center, LA Philharmonic Center Theater Group, Dance. You got LA Opera. You've got classical orchestras, operas, classical stage performance, world class stage performance. Difference between condo and apartment. That's an important question. In, in, in New York City, for instance, an apartment is any kind of place. Could be a condo, co op, or rental. Adult entertainment establishments, wink, wink. Adult, they are here, they're on the outskirts of town. There's adult, there's topless, just right over there, two miles away. Okay, now where was I? Forgot where we were going with this. How many, how many money is that apartment? 1,548,000. That's how many monies it is. Townhouse, oh, townhouse. Townhouse around here is usually a three-level building with a garage on the bottom. You can park in your garage, walk into your house. Uh, in a kind of, it's attached but private. Here in Los Angeles, a, an apartment usually refers to a all-rental unit building where each unit, a bit out of price range, two miles too far. My batteries, I gotta, I'm going to have to plug this into the emergency charger. That's what I own. Cool. Yeah, California, um, an apartment is usually referring to rentals. It has an owner, one owner, one manager of the building. Looking into a rental, what would a place like be profitable if it could travel between Silicon Valley and L.A.? Rental, travel between Silicon Valley and L.A. Well, then you want to be by the airport, LAX. So you want to be maybe Santa Monica, maybe, maybe downtown Los Angeles, West L.A., near LAX, or, or Burbank. Give me whiskey. I don't think there's any whiskey around here to give you. But I need to find the um, charger or we are going to run out of juice. Ask any question. Best question of the day is going to win $25 Amazon gift certificate. I'm Corey Chambers. Are Mexicans allowed to live in that building? <laughs> I love your... Um, can we ask questions? Yes. Best question of the day wins $25 Amazon gift certificate. And if you ask a question that is, uh, I, I do love humor that is, um, what's the word for it, unacceptably offensive. I do love that kind of humor, so that could even win. Um, what's the air speed, velocity, of unladen shadow, swallow? Uh, 30 miles an hour. What's the current occupancy price range of the building? Are these problems con polished concrete floors? Yes, these are the only polished concrete floors in the building, house or condo. This is a condo. We're on the 23rd floor, Bunker Hill Tower. This is the Bunker Hill Loft. It's called the Bunker Hill Loft. It has its own domain, its own website, this unit, because it is the only lofty unit in the building. It's the only one with polished concrete. What are the three steps to put moose in a refrigerator? Uh, probably uh, blow it up into a million pieces and scrape them all up and stick it in the refrigerator. Okay, I need to plug this thing into my emergency charger. One moment, please, We're, while we go on emergency backup power. Then we'll continue. Here's our emergency backup power. If I open the door to and put a moose three closed door, um, no more moose questions. Your questions need to be about real estate or downtown Los Angeles, please. <laughs> How much wood could a witcher chuck witcher could polish concrete? Yes. No thanks. Well, uh, polished concrete is very popular around here. How many units? 23rd floor. There's about eight units on the 23rd floor. Eight units. What are the four steps to gazelle in the refrigerator? 
And what uh, website could consumers recommend searching foreclosed houses? Ah, there's not very many foreclosures around downtown LA to save you some time. Um, just Google foreclosures. What are areas in the views of the living room windows? I'm going to tell you that right now. The answer is always Jesus. All right. But outside the windows is very important because this having a panoramic view for your 1.48, 1.548 million dollars. Ten steps to making 20 million with no capital. I'm going to go get more into that. Okay. Again, Disney Center, Los Angeles City Hall, iconic landmark. Five acres in Oregon, no neighbors, no noise except for the horses. Well, this is definitely not a horse property in Oregon. This is kind of the opposite. This is a city. This is right in downtown Los Angeles. This is about big city life. This is about walking right outside, waking up in the morning and walking right outside. Nine, that night you're going to go right here to the Disney Center, Disney Concert Hall and Music Center to see the LA Philharmonic play and go to the Broad Museum and see the Infinity Light Room and whatever is new and creative in the world. Liberals still in charge? Liberals were probably mostly in charge of Los Angeles, just like new, uh, San Francisco and New York, but also the capitalists are still in charge as well. I think liberals are in charge of the hearts and minds and the capitalists are in charge of the wallets, probably, and the minds. How from, from Staples Center? You can walk right down the street, Flower Street, and you'll be at Staples Center. You can see the Lakers play a game, independently owned. This is a condo. This condo is for sale, $1.548 million. Any cons buying a condo building, the owner of the building rents out most. Uh, there's a lot of ways to answer that. Uh, throw us throwing your money away to appear cool condo fees amenities of the building. So the, the high HOAs is the con of this because you're getting a lot for your homeowners association dues. So you're paying a lot of homeowners association dues in this building. Can I ship without sweating uh, in toilet? Not sure if I understand that question, but feel free to go ahead and take a shit, sweat all you want, or don't sweat. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can walk straight to Staples Center. You can enjoy the Lakers. Free pep rallies, free entertainment. You can walk down and get free entertainment. So if that's what you like, is big city entertainment. If you want to live in the country and get free uh, entertainment from the local cows, sheep, horses, then by all means do so, but they're not here. This is city entertainment. Restaurants, uh, bars, pubs, movie theaters, classical orchestras, Homer Association's here. Are you ready for this? Are you sitting down, everyone? All 45 people, if you're sitting down, I'm going to tell you the Homer Association dues. Homer Association dues, you're going to be paying $2,447 a month for the Homer Association dues of this unit. That's right. So, uh, but what are you going to be getting? Oh, my God. Lakers, nobody wants to see Lakers. Yeah, if you're in downtown L.A., you probably do want to see the Lakers. Trannies, yes, there, I'm sure you can find trannies. Dam, uh, not many dams nearby. I'm sure if you look hard enough. I'll pay 375. Damn, that's more than I get paid a month. Yeah, this is a luxury condo. If you add in the homeowners association and the price per square foot, you'll see that it adds up to be a pretty good deal. Okay, 1,548,000. Uh, you're getting a better view. You're getting one of the biggest units in downtown, one of the best views in downtown Los Angeles. It has maybe the most storage uh, closet space that I've seen in any downtown condo. Two parking spaces. It has 24-hour concierge, security front desk, staff. That's one of the largest swimming pools in downtown Los Angeles. Luxurious. Yes, there's unluxurious, unluxurious places in downtown. There's Skid Row. You can live on the sidewalk for free. You can live in a Skid Row hotel for 800 a month. Celebs in the building. Yes, there's some celebs. You know, famous uh, musicians live in this building. Famous classical musicians live in this building. For the newer, younger celebs, you just walk down that street to South Park. In the Ritz-Carlton, you're going to be able to eat dinner with the, the Lakers players things like that there's a lot of movie stars now living uh can we view the ocean see the ocean view yeah you can see the ocean on a clear day you cannot see it today because it's hazy so on the very f on the far right uh in the far back that haze 
Be right behind that haze is the um, Santa Monica Beach. All right. Uh, so if you want some uh, water view, here it is right here. That one of the largest pools in downtown, one of the largest hot tubs in downtown. Picnic tables, barbecues, and you got two uh, tennis courts right there that you can enjoy. Next year, you're going to be able to get on that metro that's under construction, metro station, go straight to the arts district, enjoy the young, most creative, hip place on earth. So no ocean view. No, you're not here in downtown for the ocean view. You got to go to um, to the ocean for that. We're in downtown Los Angeles. Downtown LA is not an ocean city. Uh, Santa Monica is the closest ocean city uh, to downtown Los Angeles. All right, Little Tokyo. Yeah, Little Tokyo is right out this other window here. Let's walk by our panoramic view. Diamond District. I don't know what the Diamond District is. I think you mean Garment District is in downtown Los Angeles. Also, there is a Gold District, of Jewelry District, yes. Ju there is a ju Jewelry District in downtown, yes, which could be called maybe the Diamond District here. All right, so that's Little Tokyo is, look past those tall buildings. On the other side of the tall buildings is Little Tokyo. Okay. How tall is that new construction outside gonna be? The new construction is a metro station, so it's not gonna be tall. It's only gonna be like one story. That metro station is gonna take you straight to the arts district. You'll be able to go straight to where the coolest, youngest, hippest people like um, you know, a lot of uh, musicians and art, other artists are in the Arts District. I think it's going to be one metro stop away from here. So you walk outside your door here and you are literally walking into the, uh, a world of modern creativity, business, pleasure, art, and science. Science, you might need to go to Pasadena. JPL, NASA JPL is Pasadena. You hop on the gold line, zoom yourself over to Pasadena JPL, and you can be with all the rocket scientists. They're gonna tell you what they're working on as far as spacecraft. Wilshire Grand, yeah. Tallest building in the west of Western United States is under construction. You can see it right there. It's the one with the crane on the top. Tallest building in the west, in the west, Western United, Western United States is right there. A rat, 57 viewers. So while we have 58 viewers, 63 viewers, I'm gonna tell you first of all about making that $20 million. I want you to make 20 million. Real estate is the number one creator of wealth for the average person next to working a job. How many windows in the building? A lot, because it's panoramic views, panoramic windows, a lot of windows, thousands, millions. Uh, making that $20 million, real estate, buy property, renting is, some people think it, it's cool, and if you want to rent, go ahead, but if you want to get wealthy over your lifetime, that's from buying a place. Uh, so eat rice and beans if you have to, to buy real estate. I lived in a shack when I was a kid. My family, um, we did well when we owned real estate. When we rented, we did worse. Put on a zip line. Zip line from here would be fun, but uh, one, on the other side of this building is uh, currently the tallest building in the West. It has a slide. You could slide on a glass slide 53 stories up. It's called the, shoot, what's it called? Down. Just Google downtown Los Angeles slide and you'll see it. It's brand new. What's a new hot, sh new hot what? Lots of people lost all their money from real estate, yes. Lots of people lose all their money from lots of things, including real estate. Real estate goes down about every 25 years. No, it's gone down 25 times uh, since it's been recorded in the US. So yeah, real estate goes down, but guess what it usually does? It usually goes up. All right. So I'll tell you when people lose their money in real estate, don't do this. Buy real estate at the top of the market, overspend on it, spend as much money as you can and then lose your job don't do that okay as long as you're not doing that you'll probably do very well with your real estate now how to make a billion dollars that's important too because once you've made your 20 million why not you have higher goals don't settle for 20 million is enough to be pretty much independently wealthy anywhere in the world that's what I want you to do 
as well to make your 20 million because so you can be totally free even if you want uncle sam to take care of you even if you want your dad mother real estate isn't the answer making correct investments is the answer it ain't so excited that's right there can be sometimes better real estates than better investments than real estate absolutely true how many properties do you have i have exactly one property to be more accurate i have one half of one property and it was one of the best investments I've ever made. And I've made other good investments as well. Look at this. One of the most boring investments. You ain't shit. Uh, we, all, we all are shit. If you mean shit is a good thing. We all are. We all are the shit. Okay. And what else? Ah. True that. Okay, let's start over with our, no, that's what we need. We need to show this darn property real quick. Watch, we're gonna do this quick walkthrough. The number one best property in downtown Los Angeles, best condo in downtown Los Angeles. You're gonna see it right now. 2,440 square feet, Bunker Hill Tower. This is called the Bunker Hill Loft. We're starting outside the unit door, 2305 at 800 West 1st Street to do the quick tour, ready? That's a, a laundry room, which you won't need to use because we got our own laundry room inside our unit here. You got three ways you can go in. We're going to pick the way that faces the Sub Zero refrigerator because I'm a refrigerator kind of guy. Most guys are refrigerator kind of guys. All right, a uh, pro stovetop here, double oven, view outside the window of the Bonaventure Hotel, view from the kitchen, straight down one of the best views in, uh, in Los Angeles, downtown Los Angeles. That's what I want. You can also walk into straight into the den in the main master bedroom. This main master bedroom, not only is it large, but it's the best thing is you wake up in the morning, you look out your window, and you look at the Walt Disney Concert Hall right outside your bedroom window, and you can say, oh, I'm going to see the L.A. Philharmonic tonight in the L.A. Uh, at the Disney Concert Hall. Right behind that is the iconic, how do we win $25? Ask your best downtown question or your best real estate question to win the $25. Okay, and then the music center. You might want to see um, a classical opera or theater performance that night. Uh, didn't that near Skid Row? Yeah, Skid Row's in the middle of downtown. So not far away is people living on the sidewalk. That is correct. Just about a mile and a half away from here. You could walk over there. Uh, but first, you're going to walk to these wonderful places right outside the, the, the window. You're going to walk to the brand new Broad Museum, which has Andy Warhol art, lots of modern art, and the Infinity Light Room, which you walk in and you're like in outer space, only more stars and, and brighter than outer space. Okay, then you're going to walk in your master bedroom. You've got plenty of storage, lots and lots and lots and lots of storage. You're going to go into your soaking tub if you don't have to work that day, if it's a Sunday. You might uh, get in your soaking tub and enjoy your separate soaking tub. How many people live in Skid Row? A lot, maybe 5,000 to 25,000 on Skid Row. Does this place have 24-hour security? Yes, it's got lots of security, 24-hour concierge, front desk. They're building up LA. Yeah, downtown LA is improve, improving. It's a renaissance. It's a new, it's a, it turned over a new leaf many years ago. It's the most exciting place on earth. Uh, then if you have to work that day because you're a capitalist, you need to make your 20 million or your billion dollars You're gonna quickly take a shower then get to work You've got two dual vanity so you and your friend your spouse your partner you gonna be able to brush your teeth at the same time uh, Okay, you're gonna walk into your uh, walk-in closet get your clothes out You're gonna get dressed. You're gonna go into your job or you're gonna go downstairs to unlimited numerous dining places of all types. Um, there's some really nice restaurants right here. You can watch just a couple blocks and find a really good deal. You can go to the F Nickel Diner you, um, and just you should be a broker. Um, I'm a real estate agent, salesperson, and I have completed all the broker training. I've passed the broker exam and I will uh, have my broker's license as soon as I feel that I need it. What car you drive? Unlimited um, I don't drive an expensive car. I, I don't. I drive my partner's car. I drive a Volkswagen GTI. And I had a, a Kia Soul, 
which I love my Kia Soul. It's perfect for tall people who want to park in downtown Los Angeles. If you're tall and you need a tall and small car, you're pretty funny. Oh, thanks. One reason I'm funny is because I'm talking as fast as I can and I'm trying not to say um or ah. In the train station nearby, and it helps that you guys have funny questions. Train station, yeah. What's the list price? 1548000 That's the train station. That's very important. That's the metro station. It's very exciting. You're going to be able to hop on there next year and zoom over one stop to the Arts District. Also, is the area walkable? Yeah. This is the cleanest and quietest and safest part of downtown Los Angeles. This is where all the, you know, tourists and stuff are walking around. Uh, place have a balcony. No, no balcony, but those ones next door. If you need a balcony, they're right there. Uh, but you don't have as much of you. Here you have no... Take for 14 million cash. What's your email? Coreychambers at yahoo.com. Um, send your 14 million. Would they frown on BB barbecuing in the living room? You, yes, they would frown on that probably uh, because you got a barbecue right there. Right under those trees, there's two barbecues. So just go take the elevator down and barbecue there and enjoy your park like atmosphere. 14, not 14, you idiot. 1, 4, not 14, you idiot. 1.4 million? Oh, you want to buy it for 1.4 million. Well, Yes, well, they might. The owner might just accept that. So go ahead and put in your offer. It's a, definitely uh, entirely possible. Um, okay, one point five four eight is what they're asking. The uh, and uh, the last unit I sold here, they was asking one point two. It sold for one point one. You have a real real estate license in more than one state? No, California is a big state, and it's uh, enough work to get your California license when you're living in California. So. Corey Chambers at Yahoo.com. C O R E Y Chambers at Yahoo.com. Yeah. Also, uh, pretty soon I'll probably be announcing the winner of the $25 Amazon gift certificate. And when I do, I will, will, will ask you to email me or tell me your, or email me, yes, so that I know who the winner is to help me keep track of it. Uh, tennis courts, nice commission, Corey. Uh, yeah, commission on this is is pretty big because I spend uh, it, I spend thousands and thousands of dollars uh, before selling this place. Yes, so you got to have thousands of dollars in commission, otherwise you will just have minus thousands of dollars. Um, oh, the second bedroom I think has a view that's just as good. This is straight down Flower Street in downtown Los Angeles. That's the Bonaventure Hotel. It's in all the movies, all the movies that you see from the that were made in the 80s. This is what they show you. What percentage you get? Um, uh, I think you can look it up publicly. Uh, you can see that the buyer's agent gets. Actually, that's not really public. But I'll tell you what. In downtown Los Angeles, it's usually. 5% total for all the agents and all the brokers. They share 5% to 6%. Okay. And this sells for 1548000 So this is the view out of the secondary master bedroom. Let's take a look. This one has its own. It's just a little bit smaller. It has its own walk-in closet. It has its own uh, shower here. All right. What percentage is the mom norm for your job? Yeah, most agents, um, most sellers have to pay 5% to 6% when they sell their homes. Can I get my baby grand piano there? This would probably be a perfect place for your baby grand piano. Do you work for an agency or your own business? Uh, my real estate broker is Realty Source Inc., Realty Source Incorporated. Uh, they don't take uh, much commission, so I'm able to spend more commission on getting homes sold and myself expanding my business and doing things for the seller rather than the broker getting you know too much money all right now while we have 60 viewers we're gonna tell you why this building is gonna change your life this unit I should say because the building is wonderful but this unit is 2,440 square feet this is Bunker Hill Tower 2305 this is the only uh, unit in downtown that is called the Bunker Hill Loft that's why it has its own domain name, it has its own website, it has its own Sub-Zero refrigerator, it has its own Pro Appliances, double oven, 
view from the kitchen right out the window Bonaventure Hotel right outside the window 1,548,000 it's got the only one with the polished concrete floors so it's lofty so loft lovers if you're gonna live in Bunker Hill Tower and you love lofts you're gonna want this unit because it's the only one it's the only Bunker Hill loft the others are just condo units raised high ceiling uh, 86 recessed ceiling lights in the units panoramic views panoramic views of downtown Los Angeles ask your questions win $25 Amazon gift certificate goes to the best question of the day straight down there you can walk straight down Flower Street to the uh, see the Lakers game that's the tallest building in the West under construction right there Wi-Fi yes free Wi-Fi is included in your HOAs 1.548 million uh, tallest building in the Western United, in the United States is under construction right there you can walk down and see the Lakers game you can see the um, your best uh, favorite concerts panoramic view we're gonna pan over with the panoramic view how much down payment uh, that's gonna vary some people may pay all cash some people may put down 20% uh, you'd probably need to put down at least 10% on this, maybe 20%. Can a foreigner buy it? Foreigners are going to have to put down like maybe 30%. Are you near the 110 or f 5 freeway? We're right by the 110 freeway. I'll show it to you. Two parking spaces, two parking spaces, three storage units. This has more storage than any other condo that I've seen in six years of downtown Los Angeles real estate. So that's, you can see the 110 freeway right there behind this building, behind the building on your right. Uh, you'll see some cars going by. That's the uh, 110 freeway. Parking, two parking spaces, covered, gated parking spaces. If we pay up front, how, how much? Uh, you, uh, you can On this property, you can actually offer anything you want to offer. Close to Staples Center, yes. I'll show you where you can walk to Staples Center, straight down the street. You can walk to Staples Center, and then you can see a um, Lakers game or a concert right down that street. See at the, at the end of the street there be, before it curves off is Staples Center. Famous stars, actors living in the same building. Uh, in this one, they're not too famous. You're gonna, there's gonna be famous classical musicians living in this building. What's that title for? What title? I'm not sure what title you mean. Will LeBron James be at the open house? LeBron James is invited to the open house. Uh, we did see a rich kid last time that looked a little bit like he could be the son of Le LeBron James. Love is, would you show us any of the suppression, fire suppression systems? LeBron James, is LeBron James there? LeBron James very well could be right at the end of that street that you're looking at right now. Uh, fire suppression systems. Um, there are no fire sprinklers in this building because it was built in 19... 68 so no fire sprinklers however it has um, concrete where is that no LeBron James or LeBron sucks okay uh, that's not me saying LeBron sucks that's someone else what's your favorite color blue green orange gold how far from Hollywood we're very close to Hollywood we're in Los Angeles this is the entertainment capital of the world we are um, only about six miles from Hollywood. Oh my goodness, we have 125 viewers at once. How long does it take to transfer title? Normally escrow is 30 days. It's usually a 30 day escrow, but you can buy this for cash and you can get the title in painted cement floors. No, those are polished concrete. I like that pool. It's one of the largest pools in downtown. Could be the largest pool in downtown Los Angeles. House in Laguna. Laguna is a great place. How much? One point, uh, 1,548,000. Uh, don't jump, please. If I did jump, you'd probably get quite a view. Uh, Armani, be there, maybe. Don't buy a C when a few. Interested in check out the night view that's usually what sells the suite, not daytime. Yeah, night view in Los Angeles is usually better. It's very impressive, very beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you, congratulations to you. May I have an Amazon gift card, please? Um, can someone tell me what time it is? Especially if you are in the Pacific time zone. Let me take a look. 
It's 2.52, we're almost done. Best question of the day so far has been, um, can you see Staples Center? So the guy who asked about Staples Center is so far the best question of the day. Uh, okay. Oh, thank you. So we have eight more minutes of this broadcast. This is your last chance to get in your questions to win your $25 Amazon gift certificate. Um, okay. We're going to show the master bedroom one more time. So you're going to wake up in the morning. This is your den or your office, whatever you prefer. This is where you're going to wake up in the morning. You're going to get up. You're going to look outside the window. What's the nearest beach? Santa Monica. Mississippi. What's the nearest beach? Santa, Mon Santa Monica is the nearest beach. And Muscle Beach. How, does it have a garage? Yes. Two car parking space. East Coast. Almost 6 p.m. You're going to wake up in the morning. You're going to look outside uh, Disney's Concert Hall. You're going to be excited because you're going to see a, the L.A. Philharmonic Orchestra perform that evening. Venice or Santa Monica? Yeah. They're, Venice and Santa Monica are right next to each other. They're close. All right. That's the Music Center. That's the L.A. City Hall. Can you smell aromas from Chinatown? Yeah. Chinatown's right there. Chinatown is right on the other side of these big buildings. Bath space or garage? Are you close to any galleries? Yeah, there's lots of galleries in downtown Los Angeles. That's uh, the Broad Museum right there. What kinds of neighbors are in the building? Uh, a lot of people who are musicians, classical orchestra musicians. Action figure yourself with three accessories when you want in your character. Oh my god. We need um, downtown questions and we need real estate questions. Best restaurant in walking distance. You can walk right down there. There's a restaurant. The best one, I can't say. Uh, you can walk to Restaurant Row. Hi, HOA. So we're done. The best question of the day. Uh, HOA dues here is $2,447 a month. Uh, add that to your lowest price per square foot, and you have a uh, quite a bargain here. So we're going to wrap this up. Best question of the day is uh, going to be the one who's going to get that Amazon gift certificate. Any vacant? This is a condominium building. Not really much in the way of vacancies here. Go ahead and uh, send me an email. The person who asked a question about the... Um, whoever asked a question about the location of the um, Staples Center, downtown Los Angeles Staples Center, Corey Chambers at yahoo.com. Send me your email. We're going to send you your um, Amazon gift certificate. Uh, who asked me the Staples Center question? How's the real? Are you allowed to rent your unit? Yes, you can rent your unit here. Why eight taxes? Why eight taxes? Don't, don't know the answer to that question. Okay. Corey Chambers at yahoo.com. C O R E Y Chambers at yahoo.com. Send me your email address so I can send you that Amazon gift certificate. Building 24 hour service. Someone's at the door. Just a moment. Hi. Hello. So I'm looking for the owner of the red Volkswagen. That's mine. He has a hazard light sign on Oh, hazard lights. Oh, thanks. Okay, okay, I'm leaving it right now, so good timing, thanks. All right, show's over. Send me an email, coreychambers at yahoo.com, C-O-R-E-Y, chambers at yahoo.com, and we'll get you your gift certificate. Thanks. Signing off. Have a great day. Bye-bye.